Christian. Welcome back to P Storm. We are playing the seventh stand user, and we have finally arrived in Dio's mansion. And now we're facing off against Terence T. Darby. This sea breeze. It feels so real. Is this. Care for a drink? They're real, of course. They aren't poisoned either. Is this place inside the mansion? It is. Where exactly? That I cannot tell you. Is it underground? Perhaps. Is it a stand that's causing this? Yes. Is it your stand? No. Then is it Dio's? No. Then whose? You don't need to know. The Speedwagon Foundation's intel stated that there are two or three other stand users inside the mansion. Is that true? You don't need to know. There sure is a lot I don't need to know. Would you rather I lie? I don't like to resort to lies and tricks like my brother. Hmm. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like this, right? The only way to move on is to defeat you. Exactly. That is correct. He's far too polite. It's getting on my nerves. He's got another thing coming if he thinks he's got us trapped. Have you forgotten that there's four of us and one of you? May I add that you're, we're in a bit of a hurry? Rushing me isn't a good idea. There's something I'd like to show you first. My brother showed you his too, did he not? Please direct your attention to my collection. Collection? Darby opened up his collection case where several dolls were on display. Just like my brother, I have a little collection of keepsakes. Quaint if I do so say. Still, when you have something you're proud of, you love to show it off and hear the praises of others, don't you? These dolls? It can't be. Why is he showing these to us? No, Kakyoin. The Dombies don't collect normal objects. These aren't any old dolls. The doll of a cute young girl started to twitch. Darby, please talk to me. Terence Darby, are you lonely? Speak with me. Please speak with me. Please. Darby. Ooh. Uh. Help us. Help us. Ooh. Master Darby. <laughs> oh my god. They're alive. These dolls are alive. You, you sick freak. Their souls... Are they in these dolls? My hobby is crafting dolls. Then I infuse them with the souls of real people. Actually, pardon my spoiling the surprise, but that's my stand tomb's ability. My older brother's collection was too bland. There's nothing fun about arranging boring old coins. There's no depth. I can dress my dolls and talk to them. For example, this girl's name is Sonia. She's gorgeous and has a lot of experience and love. Doesn't she have the clearest skin? She loves Chanel, but this dress is actually a ver, ver, ver... I don't know how to pronounce that. I made a tiny version for her to wear. She's a beauty who's never bashful no matter where she goes. Darby! Ah, Darby! Dr. Elliot hears a mass murder. He killed eight of his patients. His murder stories are a blast to listen to. I made the glasses and doctor's tools myself. This Japanese boy, Tatsuhiko, has an IQ of 190. He was a tough one to beat. A video game master. But eventually I wore him down. Mama! Mama! These brothers are insane! No. You're far worse than him! You disgust me! Even though you pose as a gentleman, you're the worst kind of slime out there. I'll beat you to a pulp. Anyway, 
I think my brother already explained it, but the human soul is very interesting indeed. When you lose, in the instant you admit defeat in your heart, your energy is reduced to almost zero. We take out your opponent's soul. We take out our opponent's soul in that moment. That's how my and my brother's stands operate. Shut up! I can't listen to this anymore. Hearing about your stand just makes me sick. I just want to beat you and get this over with. Whatever you say, but you have to listen. Especially Jotaro. I've got him right where I want him. What? Jotaro, when I predicted your attack, you were shocked to say the least, yes? Even now, you're still asking myself, how did he read my moves? So what's your point? Well, well, you didn't admit defeat exactly, you were quite rattled. There was a tiny, tiny weak spot in your soul. In just a bit, I was able to touch it. Then, can you guess what's next? Jotaro rolled up his sleeve, revealing something pressing down on his wrist. What? What? There's... there's a hand inside Jotaro's arm. My tomb's arm has burrowed its way into your skin. If I were to break your arm now, Lord Dio would likely be pleased. But the second I did so, all three of you would beat the daylights out of me. I can't have that. Instead, how's this sound? We'll gamble over our souls with video games. Once I've admitted defeat, I'll free your arm. What? Video games? Give me a break. You really do have me where you want me. Jotaro. This guy seems to really want to get his hands on our souls. That hand under my skin doesn't hurt or really feel like anything at all. But I can tell it has the strength to twist my arm right off. This one's gonna be a pain. Now there's something I need to hear. Tell me that you'll play a game with your soul on the line. Video games, huh? I don't know. I don't know how good you are at these, but you have something your brother didn't. Some kind of hidden talent. Somehow you knew I was going to hit you with my right fist, but still. I don't want to lose my arm to you, so... whatever. Fighting for my life with video games is stupid, but I'm in no position to complain. Actually, just one thing. My first opponent will be... Samu. You're the one I want. Hey. What's the idea? I'm the one whose arm you've got a hold of. Shouldn't I be the one to settle this? Unlike Joseph, neither Samu nor Kakyoin have any blood relation to you. Once I've taken your and your grandpa's souls, they might decide to beat me up anyway. I suppose Kakyoin is fine too, but since Samu has nothing to do with Lord Dio either, the risk is higher. You have a lot of demands, don't you? You think you've already won. Fine. I'll be your first opponent. What? Samu. It's fine. I can do this. This game right here, I've got it at home. I have confidence in F Mega Mini. I'll challenge you with this. I wager my soul. Good. Samu, there's no need for you to go first. That's right. I know plenty about video games. Just let me switch in. That's all the less reason for you to go. We need to figure out what his hidden ability is before we have a fair chance. I don't have overwhelming confidence in my gaming abilities, but I should be able to hold him off for a while. That'll give Kakyoin time to plan. But that'd just make you a sacrifice. You saw those dolls, right? Do you want that to happen to you? If my soul's taken, I have the faith that everyone will be able to get it back. This is the role I've chosen. <clears throat> Darby, if you lose, do you swear to release Jotaro's arm? Kakyoin, once he's completely admitted defeat in his heart, the hand will let go. The elder Darby's stand was the same. That's how their stand's power works. I've inspected the software in the console with my Hermit Purple. I haven't found any modifications or irregularities. I'm not like my brother. I don't cheat. Alright. Let's save. We played F Mega Mini way back in the first episode. And I wasn't horrible at it, but I wasn't great. Course number one. 
200 meters from, from start to goal. Four turns and a minefield tunnel in between. Leave the track and you'll explode. The one with the best time wins. Let's go. Now let's begin the challenge. go faster. <laughs> One down. Samu! Uh-oh. I'm sure I've heard I'm sure you've heard this many times before, but attacking me isn't the best idea. If I so much as slip on a banana peel or choke on a piece of gum. If I'm popping corn and pop, the sound gives me a heart attack. Samu's soul is gone for good. <laughs> this one's gonna have a special place in my collection. The girl who conquered her fears and sacrificed herself bravely. I'm gonna take extra good care of it so I can play with it for a long time. I call bullshit, he was going way too fast. Okay, instructions. Move your car with the arrow keys. The decision key becomes the dash button. So I guess I had to press space. Space. Where no one can hear you scream for your soul. Bro. I'm pressing every key that could be... Yeah, the, the so-called decision key isn't doing shit. Bro, fuck this. Alright, so according to the wiki, the latest version of this game has a glitch where you literally cannot dash while you're playing F-Mega in Dio's Mansion, so uh, I guess I just have to let it happen. Even though I'm sure I'd be able to beat him if I could dash. But whatever. <laughs> Why stray from the manga now? So how y'all doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Got, got, yeah. <laughs> got with me, uh, what, what the hell? Got with me, uh, toxic waste slime liquor. It's all right. Yeah. Licking, uh, licking goo off of a trackball. It's, it's weird, but I, I, I kind of like it. You can hear voices from somewhere. Help us! It's dark! Mama! These voices are... I see. I lost. I'm inside the collection case. Will Mr. Joestar and the others be okay? I ended up not being very useful. Will I ever get out of here? Mr. Joestar. Kakyoin. Jotaro. Ah, uh, sh shoot! That was an accident. I didn't mean to let go. Kakyoin and Samu's souls were released. Their souls? Kakyoin and Samu are back. N no, wait. I haven't admitted defeat yet. It was an accident, I'm telling you, an accident. I just wasn't paying attention. The reason you released their souls is because you admitted defeat in your heart, Darby. <clears throat> what? After taking a closer look, Darby noticed Hermit Purple entwined around Jotaro's controller. J Joseph Stand was controlling the game? Uh oh, whoops. Something this stupid. Was the cheat? The game was controlled not by Jotaro, but by you, Joseph Joestar? That's right, Darby. If it were your brother, he would have noticed immediately. By the way, Gramps, 
I'm impressed that you were able to catch on to my idea without me signaling you or anything. I can always tell what's on your mind. I'm your granddad, after all! Mm-mm. Ugh. Are you still with us, Kakyoin? Get up, Samu. We've got places to be. Damn it! Then from behind, I'll... Alright. Now just put this guy away for good. P please have mercy. I beg you. <laughs> They're both back to normal. Everything's fine now, right? So you'll let me go? If you want the answer, why don't you just read my thoughts with your stand? Here's a question. Which fist will I hit you with first? My left or my right? Take a guess. Well, it's your right, right? No, 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 no. Then your left? No, 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 no. Then is it both of them? Yes, 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 yes. Is it aura, aura, aura? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Ura, 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 ura. Oh, look at that. He broke through some kind of wall. I knew it. This illusion world is inside of the mansion. Let's climb through here. Jotaro, Kakyoin, Samu. Is this a wine cellar? Hmm? The illusion disappeared. What happened? Huh? I thought the illusions had vanished, but what's that distant rumbling sound? I can feel the ground shaking, too. I don't think this is a normal quake. Do you think... Abdul and Polnareff? In any case, they didn't follow our instructions and burn the building. <clears throat> Let's hurry and find them. I heard it again, Mr. Joestar. No, there's no other explanation. Abdul and Polnareff are inside the mansion. They're fighting something. Let's get moving. We've got to find them. Vanilla Ice. Kenny G. Darby the Younger. <laughs> oh. Vanilla Ice, Kenny G, Darby the Younger. Heh, <laughs> you're the dumb ones. Oh, that was Nuke Saku. Alright, let's see if I can remember what he said. Vanilla Ice, Kenny G, Darby the Younger. You're the dumb ones. <laughs> I can still feel your derisive laughter filling my head. Calling me a good-for-nothing moron? Well, serves you right, Vanilla Ice, all of you. Nuke Saku, they said. They can't defeat the Joe Stars, or you can't defeat the Joe Stars with your power, they said. Well, who's laughing now? They told me to shut up and hide. That I was just a regular vampire, not to do anything unnecessary. We'll be the ones to kill them, they said. How'd that go for you? I, the great Nuke Saku, will be the one to undo Jotaro. Huh? The ground stopped. Did Abdul and the rest defeat the enemy? Or perhaps it's the other way around. Stop! There's someone just ahead of us. It's a girl. Eek! Eek! P please spare me! Don't suck my blood! Please! Ah! I'll do anything you ask of me! Just spare my life! Ah! Hey, calm down. Eee! I won't try to escape, I promise. Spare my life, please. I said calm down. We don't work for Dio. We're not vampires either. Okay? We're here to help you. We're friends. Friends? You're my friends? Truly? You'll help me get out of here? Yes, we are friends. <coughs> Friends of justice. Yeah, we'll help you get out of here. And back into hell, that is. Ain't that right, Kakyoin, Samu? Hmm, you bet. <coughs> 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 
impossible. How? How? How did you figure it out? My unbeatable ability! You call having a face on the back of your head an ability? When you turn your head backwards, you have to turn your hands the other way, too. Oh, shoot! I always forget about that part. Hey, moron. Where's Dio's room? Tell us. Don't get hasty, Jotaro. We need him conscious while he shows us the way. <clears throat> Why, you... How dare you call me a moron? Don't mock me. I'll kill you. I've already got Dio's blood in my body. I'm immortal! <clears throat> oh, so you're immortal? A vampire like Dio? In that case, let's see how immortal he really is. Oh my god! I see. You really didn't die. Still, vampire or no, I can cut you into pieces. Now bring us to Dio. The sun's starting to set. Y yes, sir. But can I ask you something? How'd you know my nickname was Moron? Give me a fucking break. So just where is Dio? Lord Dio usually sleeps in a tower to the west. That's right on the opposite side. Lead the way, moron. Wait! Even I can't go in there. Why's that? The walls are riddled with holes thanks to that stupid vanilla ice. I'm a vampire. If I touch the sunlight, I'll disintegrate. So I can't show you, see? So that's all those tremors were. You must have a lot of power to punch through walls of stone. Hope the others are okay. Hmm. In that case, if we bag you up and carry you, you'll be fine, right? No, thank you. There's no need for you to go through all that trouble. I couldn't possibly inconvenience you so. You can't escape if that's what you were thinking. Grab a curtain from somewhere, guys. Wah! Even the floor's full of holes. They're perfectly round, like someone pulled a cork from a bottle. I heard a voice. It came from behind the wall. S shut your damn mouth already, Dio. I'm not dead yet. I'll only die once I see your stand. Hmm. In that case, you'll die right here and now, Ponoref. That was Polaris's voice, and one other person. Dio. So that's the world? Bring it on! Mr. Jostar? Relax, Polnareff. We've come to save the day. Dio! That was him. That was Dio. I have something to tell you before, they go, before you go after him. Just now, I experienced his stand for myself. No. I've experienced it, but I just can't understand what happened. I was trying to climb the stairs, but I always ended up lower than where I started. You probably don't get a word I'm saying, but I don't get it either. He must have messed with my head. Yet I don't think it's something as simple as hypnosis or super speed. I think it was just the tip of the iceberg. Where are Abdul and Iggy? They're not coming to save me. They... I see. Mr. Joestar, the sun is setting. If we don't hurry... Yes. We don't know much about Dio, but the fact that he's weak to sunlight remains clear. Hey, moron. We don't have time to waste. Answer my questions immediately, got it? Who's your daddy, and what does he do? And also, what's above this floor? A, a tower. There's a room at the very top. Lord Dio sometimes goes there during the day. 
there any other way up besides the staircase? No. Just these stairs. Then lead the way. Is he in this casket? Be careful. We can't be sure he's inside. He could be hiding somewhere in here. Jotaro, Samu, you take the right of the casket. Polnareff, you take the left. Karkyoin and I will cover the middle. Attack as soon as he comes out. Hey, moron, lift the lid. <laughs> The, the man I'm about to meet. No, this is the first time I'm meeting him. I've known him all my life. Yes, I've known him well. Known him from the very time I was born. Even Jotaro, since he took his first breath, knew of this destiny. As Joestars, we knew the day we would come to meet Dio. I have no regrets. This journey up until now, the events that are about to occur, I won't regret any of it. Right now, this sensation, I am in the light. Dio is the dark. Mr. Jostar is the light. It is clear as night and day. Though I'm injured, I'm overflowing with courage. I'm on the path of all... Or I'm on the path of light. Finally here. Even I realize how faint-hearted I've been. Always ready to throw in the towel. And yet here I am. Now that I think about it, Sis used to always get mad at me for giving up too easily. You're doing it tomorrow? Which tomorrow, she'd always say. I wonder what time it is there. Up until now, I'd put off things... Or, I'd put things off due to my fear. But it's different now. I'm prepared. I'm braver than I ever was. I have my friends. Sis, I'm doing it today. Ah, uh, Lord Dio. I haven't betrayed you. I showed them in here because I have so much faith in your strength, my lord. Sure as a stream of piss blowing to the side of a strong breeze. Please understand. It'd be a nuisance for someone as powerful as you to have to chase these guys down. I brought them here so you could crush them. Shut the hell up and just open it. Lord Dio. <laughs> Get over here and tear them to pieces. Here he comes. Huh? Me? What? Nuke Saku was inside the casket, sliced into rings. What? I... was inside the casket? But I was just opening it a second ago. What? Why's that idiot inside of the coffin? I never took my eyes off him. I told you, it's not hypnosis. It's not super speed. This is what happened to me. Is this the world? Son of a bitch. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's something... <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's something you'd say when... When there's an immortal vampire who might be about to kill you. Hey, did any of you see when this idiot got in the casket? No, when someone put him in it? No. I didn't see. I was watching carefully the whole time, but before I knew it, he was inside. Polnareff's right. This isn't something as simple as high speed or optical illusions. No. It's definitely something more. Shoot. Something... something doesn't feel right. Run for it! Damn it! What are you doing, Polnareff? God damn it! I sense this as well, Jotaro. An unshakable bloodlust. Felt like I was sitting on an icicle. If we stayed there, we'd all... Excuse me. We'd all surely be dead now. Just what happened back there? We've never encountered a stand like this before. Even though we didn't get to see it, I have a feeling it's more dreadful than any stand we've met with thus far. Just like how you know a bulldozer is coming by the sound of the engine. This isn't good. This is seriously not good. The sun has set nearly completely. Dio's time has arrived. Alright. Yep, 
Looks like we are approaching the end of the game. I'd hate to leave it on a cliffhanger, but if you enjoyed this video, then no further actions required on your part. If you have suggestions on what else you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next and possibly final episode. Wish me love, wish you well, the kiss and tell.